all the way, but push them out some. Take that risk to let people in and begin to understand their problems. And it's uh, something I'll never forget. Um, so where we go from here? What the, what's ahead for Showers of Blessing? Well, we are right on the verge of some more expansion. We've received a wonderful gift from uh, St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. They gave us a really fancy uh, new shower trailer. It's ADA compliant. It lowers down to the ground, so we don't have much ramping to do. It's all, all aluminum, uh, and it costs about twice as much as our original trailer. It's about four feet longer. We're going to have that online probably by the first of the year. We'll start bringing it around to various sites. We also, uh, you may have noticed, we have this uh, funny-looking gray beverage delivery truck. Well, we have two of those, actually, both donated to Showers of Blessing. They're old uh, uh, Red Bull beverage delivery trucks, and they're perfect, just perfect for our use. Uh, and, they're, and they both were gifts. I mean, significant gifts. They're like 30 grand apiece that were given to us as well. Um, so we're sitting pretty in terms of our equipment. Um, our budget has grown. Uh, we are at seven sites a week. Well, we want to increase that in the next year by adding a couple of more sites. And that old trailer that we started with has got 25,000 showers on it now. That's like miles, right? And it's starting to show the signs of this. Uh, we are hopeful, crossing our fingers, but we may well get another new trailer to replace it that has three bathrooms instead of two, which will allow us to uh, provide 50% more showers right at our existing sites without all of that expansion, which would be a wonderful thing. I've always said since the very beginning that uh, we want to have that door sitting open and unused because that is the greatest way to say you're welcome. Come in. Come on in. We're waiting for you. Uh, right now we have sites where we have to turn people away. Uh, and this is something that I want to end, and this really is our, that's our main goal. We don't want to turn a soul away. Um, so, um, trying to think of what else. Oh, well, well there is, there is, there, there are new things that are developing. As we grow, our budget has grown. We're getting up in the $200,000 a year range. We have had some great success in getting grants from family foundations. The Fund for Santa Barbara is a big supporter of Showers of Blessing. They've, they've supported us with grant money for the past three years. And uh, uh, they've also included us in the uh, Santa Barbara Gives campaign now for three years in a row as well, which, uh, which we we're honored to be part of that group. And I got to tell you, we do really well. Ours is a compelling message and a compelling project, and it's elegant and it's simple. And I think it speaks to people. Um, so we're doing well, of course. That's one year. Then you got the next year, you got to do it all over again. And that's our challenge. There's one more group I want you to meet. And that is the advisory board for Showers of Blessing. I, I, I got to say that one of the things I'm most proud of is pulling together this amazing group of people who now are going to be carrying the banner of this project forward. Uh, we inevitably will become our own 501c3, our own project. Uh, and I would like the board members, uh, the advisory board members, to just stand up, maybe put your hand up so we can see who you are here. <laughs> Melinda, Everett, Anita, Marty. Who else we got? Sally, amazing Sally. Yeah. Howard has just joined our board. Thank you, Howard. You're in. You can't get out now. That's it. <laughs> So we, I, I feel great. We have a good board, and, uh, and uh, I think we're going to be able to pull this off and actually uh, provide a lot more showers to people and, uh, and expand our clothing ministry as well, which is something we've always wanted to do. So you can relax a little, Sandy. I think, we'll, I, I think we're going to get you off the hook. All right. I have one thing I'd like to do for a close, if that's okay with you, Molly. Oh, okay. I got it. Clothing. <laughs> oh, clothing. You have a question about clothing? Yes. 
Uh, okay, the question from Molly, who's on the IFI board, is uh, uh, what kind of clothing donations would we like? And I'm glad you asked that because I did want to throw it open to a few questions. So um, the clothing we need most always is men's jeans, um, cotton sweatshirts, um, coats going into the winter season, um, you know, stocking caps. Um, Sandy, what am I missing here? 